Hello, today we'll do the second application of Gauss law. So, the second application for Gauss law is electric field because of infinitely long straight uniformly charged wire due to So, we'll consider a wire. This is an infinitely long charged wire. Consider a wire with charged density. Lambda is equals to Q by L. The charge of the wire is Q. We'll consider a Gaussian surface. cylindrical Gaussian surface like this. Now we'll mark the regions. The electric field will be in three regions. One here, two here and three here. Now for the first region, the area vector points is in this direction and the electric field is also in this direction. For the second region, the area vector is pointed upwards but the electric field is in the right direction. Similarly, for the third region, the area vector points downwards but the electric field is in this direction. So, it makes an angle of 90, 90 in the first and second, in the second and third region and the area of 0 degree in the first region. So, to find out the electric field, we know via Gauss law that E dot ds is equals to Q enclosed upon epsilon naught. It's according to Gauss law. So, we can write it as E dot ds of first region plus E dot ds of second region plus E dot ds of third region. So, for the first region we know E dot ds cos 0 will be used as the angle between the area vector and electric field is 0 degree. For the second region E dot ds cos 90 and similarly for the third region, cos 90, as we can see here. So we know cos 90 is equal to 0. So these two become 0, and this becomes E dot dA. Now we'll integrate it. So E dS is equal to. e into 2 pi r square which is equals to q by epsilon naught according to the Gauss law. So we can write e is equals to q upon 2 pi r square epsilon naught and as we know q upon l the linear charge density Q upon L is equals to lambda. So, we'll write it as E is equals to Q upon 
टू पाए एपसाइल नॉट एल आर सो द फाइनल आंसर इज इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज इक्वल्स टू लैमडा अपॉन टू पाए एपसाइल नॉट आर एंड द यूनिट वैक्टर so this is the electric field due to a inf infinitely long wire which is uniformly charged so the ne next application that we have via gauss law is electric field due to a infinite charged sheet So, consider an sheet of charge. Consider an infinite sheet of charge with charge density as. sigma and we know sigma is equals to q by a drawing the figure for the same we have a infinite sheet of charge we'll consider a gaussian surface cylindrical gaussian surface and we'll take p as the observation point so let p be the observation point at a distance r this is the distance r we'll mark it from here to here this is the distance r we have considered a gaussian surface which is a cylinder that is piercing through the charged sheet now we'll mark three regions in this also first region will mark here second region will mark here and the third region will mark here now in the first region the electric field is in this direction and the area vector is also in this direction similarly for the second region area vector is in this direction and electric field is also in this direction for the third region the electric field is in this direction but the area vector is in this direction so according to gauss law integration of e dot ds is equals to q by epsilon not so e dot ds of region 1 plus e dot ds of region 2 plus e dot ds of region 3 so for region 1 we know e ds cos 0 plus e ds cos 90 plus e ds cos 0 as you can see here this it makes the angle 90 here and 0 and 0 here so we get e dot ds 
plus e ds. No dot here. So we get 2 e ds. So it becomes 2 e a. The final answer. Now according to Gauss law we will put 2 e a is equals to q upon epsilon naught. So e is equals to q upon 2 a epsilon naught. And as we know the surface charged density sigma is equals to q upon a. So e becomes sigma upon 2 epsilon naught and the direction vector. This is the electric field due to an infinite sheet of charge. Now, a thing to notice is that the electric field here is independent of the distance r. So, the graph between them will be E, r and as it is independent, so it's a straight line. Similarly, if we make the graph for infinitely long wire, then the graph looks like this. As we have R here, so the graph is E, R and it's inversely proportional. This is the derivation for application of Gauss law. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.